Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, braving the mosquitoes and the elements once again to bring you a review of Cutting Edge by Raquel Welch. This is one of their new styles for 2015. And this color is called R11S Plus, also known as Glazed Mocha. This is a really popular color. People really seem to like it. I think it's because it's that nice blend between a, bl a dark blonde color and a light brown. So you can see the back is more of that light brown. And then the top on this wig is much lighter, but it's still not like a super light blonde either. It's kind of like a, almost like a honey blonde, you know, not quite ash, not quite gold. It's just a really, really pretty color. So um, I am sweltering. It's super, super, I am super hot. So I am sorry if my makeup is melting off in this video and or crickets and ambient noise. I basically live adjacent to a big park with a big swamp and Georgia. So um, I apologize in advance for any ambient noise or for my face being anything less than awesome looking in these videos this season. It's hot out here. <laughs> So anyway, enough about me and my vanity. Let's let's talk about this wig. This falls into that category of wigs that I think are really hot, especially for fall and winter 2015. I like to call this category glam rock chic. And you know, you put a trademark on that. I'm calling it that. Um, because to me, it reminds me a little bit of like, you know, 70s David Bowie glam rock hair where it's like boom, you know, like lots of volume, lots of razored ends, lots, lots and lots of fringe everywhere. But the difference, the modern twist is that most of these wigs are very tapered in the back. They're very, very sleek in the back. And cutting edge is a great example of this. It gives you lots and lots of volume, lots and lots of razored ends. It has a lot going on, but it still looks really chic, especially when I turn around. So heck, why don't I just go ahead and do that for you? So this wig has a lot of permatease, and that's what actually gives it all this luscious volume with all these layers. I mean, I know some of you are patently anti permatease and I think that a lot of that is justified in some styles, but I do think that some styles require the permatease. They absolutely require it. And you know, I, I always get one of these face palm moments when I look in my email inbox and someone's like, oh, I ordered this shag and I thought it would be the equivalent of this one that I saw that had all this permatease, but this one didn't have any. So I got it and then it was flat. What do I do? It's a monofilament wig. That's what they do. They lay flat because there's nothing underneath the hair to prop it up. So as soon as you wash it once, boom, that wig is gonna be flat. That is not the case in a wig like this. Cutting Edge has enough permatease and it's tastefully done so it's going to prop up that hair so that way it maintains this shape throughout the duration of wear. Let's talk some specs. This one has that perfect bang length, that, that very typical bang length. Oh my gosh, it's a big moth. That was a big Carolina hawk moth. I thought it was coming right at me. I thought it was a bat. I like bats, but I don't like them coming at my face. Oh gosh. Anyway, I might just keep that in this video because it might be funny. Who knows? I'll, we'll see. But uh, this has what I consider a typical bang length, um, perfect bang length. It's like four inches, very easy to wear down, very easy to sweep off to the side, requires very little fussing and mussing, and on most people won't need to be trimmed. Um, the crown down is 5.25 inches, but there's a lot of volume back there, so it might fall a little bit shorter than that just because of that volume. Um, the sides down, I mean, that measurement doesn't matter at all because this wig's so heavily layered. Let's just talk about the nape measurement, which is 2 inches. So it's quite short in the back, as you probably already picked up on. This one only weighs 2 ounces, which is like nothing. I mean, this is feather light, very, very easy to wear wig. Um, only has a monofilament crown, which on a lot of these wigs with the monofilament crown, I feel like that is a superfluous cap feature. I mean, I know some people really like them, but to me, I feel like in most wigs that have a monofilament crown, that it's almost always put there just to jack up the price. But you know, whatever, say lovey. I'm gonna go ahead and take this wig off now so I can show you what the cap instruction looks like. So here is the top on cutting edge. So you can see she's got this lovely lace front. 
okay? And I'll show you that up close and personal when I put her back on. Uh, she's open wefted on the top, on the sides, and in the back, and the nape is fully extended, covered in felt, soft fuzzy felt, and it also has these nice Velcro adjusters. Now, a little pro tip here, you don't want to adjust them too much because that really makes the, the, the felt back here kind of fluffy and after a while it won't sit right, so once you adjust them and they get you get it in the right place, just kind of leave it. Um, so here is the back, and you can see this whole area is also permatized. That's why you get all these little boop, 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 boops on the back of the cap. It's also permatized up in here. Anywhere where the this is thick, that's where a lot of that permatease is going to live. And it's important, too, because like I mentioned before, it keeps the integrity of the style intact. You get that extra bump in the back to really help the layering sit properly. You get a lot of that up on the top also, again, to help it retain its shape. Because without that permatease, let's say in a world where, in a world where this wig is 100% monofilament, all of this would fall flat the moment. I mean, it wouldn't, it would never have this shape to it to begin with. So really the only way you can achieve volume like this in a wig is with permatease. So embrace the permatease if you like these short wigs with a lot of volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and put cutting edge back on. Look at all that fringe. Just shake her out a little bit, put her on. Zoom in here on this lace front. That is a pretty lace front. What a beautiful shape. This wig is just very pretty on. I. I promised people that I would review more of these short styles this season, and this is part of that promise. This has been the Cutting Edge Wig by Raquel Welch in the color R11S+, Plus, also known as Glazed Mocha. I think this is an adorable short style with a lot of fringe, and aside from the few minor little nitpicky things I pointed out during the course of this video, I think that it gets a thumbs up. It's a very, very beautiful wig. So until next time, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com coming at you with all kinds of wig reviews this season. Make sure you check out my web store if you get a chance. It's just www.cysterwigs.com. That's Sister Wigs, but spelled kind of funny for my ladies with polycystic ovary syndrome. See the cyst part? So until next time, have a great night. Bye-bye.